and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to another brain video for tutorial suggestions. Today's tutorial is going to be a pretty simple and quick one because I noticed they don't have one of these yet, and it's how to add fonts to your Photoshop or to your GIMP. Now, I do have a very, very old video on how to add fonts to GIMP. It was on Windows XP, it was like my first video I ever did. So, this is sort of like an updated version, and it's a lot easier now on Windows 8 and Windows 10. So, what you'll need is to actually look for a font site. Uh, I like to use thefont.com. However, you can. There are several, several other websites. Uh, you can just type in download free fonts on Google, and it'll bring you to a similar site. But I like this font in particular, and I actually like this font right here. So, you look for a font here. You can even type in a font here. If you want, like, the X-Men font, you can just type it in. And uh, if they have it... It'll show up. I guess they don't have that one. Do they have any Marvel fonts? Uh, sometimes you can search it on Google just. Mask Marvel. Hmm. They usually have like some movie fonts here. Let's look up Spider-Man. Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man. So you see they have some of them, but I mean, you could easily just uh, Google as well. Spider-Man movie font, anything really. But essentially you need to find a download button and the font is really cool because you can actually type in your text here so if I wanted to say hi I am cool oops there you can click submit and then it actually uh, should be previous so it's pretty cool that this site allows you to do that but essentially all you got just click the download button here and then it'll bring you to this right here and just go ahead and press the little down arrow here on Chrome if you're on Internet Explorer or similarly, just go to the folder that you download this in. And then here will be the folder right here. What you're going to do is right click it and then click extract all, which is right here. Extract all. And then you can just extract it to any folder you want. It doesn't really matter though. It's going to most likely open up anyhow. And we only need to, we only need to open. So here it's going to do its thing. It's going to extract everything. And sometimes you'll have multiple fonts in the folder, sometimes you'll only have one. But essentially you need to find the text type font file, which is usually the TTF. So this right here, if you open this, you can actually see a preview of the font as well. With uh, the famous, the quick brown jump, the quick brown fox jumps over uh, the lazy dog. Which basically has all the letters of the alphabet in it. So, once you have that, all you gotta do is right click and click install. And once you install this, this will install into your fonts directory. And the font directory is what Photoshop and GIMP use. So if you were to open up Photoshop or GIMP right now, I'm just going to open up GIMP because Photoshop takes a bit longer to open up. But remember the name of this font is called Spider-Man. So uh, when GIMP opens up... Oh yeah, so now it's going to take a bit longer actually because GIMP is actually looking for the new fonts. Photoshop will take a bit longer as well. Uh, whenever you add new fonts, both programs are going to have to update their font directories. So it may take a bit longer than usual. Don't, you know, spam click it, wanting it to open, whatever. So go to File, New, and we're just going to go ahead and test this out. So we're going to go here, and we're just going to type random letters. And now, if we were to search here, and there's Spider-Man, there it is. And as you can see, there's our font. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it. There it is. And this is the exact same font that we saw here on the font. So that's kind of how to do it. It's very easy. All you gotta do is find a website and uh, download it and then right click install and it'll automatically uh, install into your font directory. There's no need to drag it anymore or look for the font directory like you need to do in Windows XP or Windows uh, Vista or 7. I think it was Vista on XP only though. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you found this helpful. And that was a rather quick and short one, but I just wanted to get it on my channel because I don't have one of these. And I feel like my channel is incomplete if I don't have a very basic one like this. So if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page. All you got to do is click the top right corner. There's a card there and it'll bring you to the page. I also have a tutorials channel, which is this one right here. A gaming channel, a vlogging channel, a music channel, and an advice channel. If you want to check any of those out, you can look in the description. Also, there are links on the end card. Plenty of other tutorials about designs and other softwares like that, video editing, all kinds of cool stuff on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I think you'll find a lot of it helpful. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Man Smart. Now you're back. Soon you think. Don't go anywhere.